Hello friends, I am Dr. Rohit Patra and today we are going to talk about vitiligo. Yes, vitiligo or leukoderma or white patches as you all know is a very distressing disease in the sense where people develop white patches and it affects their self-confidence and at workplace in their educational institutions also they suffer from decreased confidence and at times are not able to uh, do whatever they wish to because of these lesions on their body where people ask them what are you doing for them why are you suffering from them and then there are so many myths in the society that they should not eat something or drink something or it has happened because they ate fish with milk etc so these all myths are there which uh, the patient of which like who keeps on listening and at times develop these notions that okay because maybe he has done something that uh, uh, that has led to these white patches on the face or body well first you have to understand that it's an autoimmune condition it can occur to anybody uh, approximately 2% of the population in india suffers from vitiligo it has nothing to do with what you eat or do uh, it's an autoimmune condition can occur to anybody and uh, there are various types that is vitiligo vulgaris that's the commonest type where uh, lesions can develop anywhere on the body then you have the lip tip where lesions occur only on the lip and the tips of fingers and toes then you have focal vitiligo where you develop just one patch or two patches anywhere on the body you have segmental vitiligo where a uh, one patch is a uh, there of vitiligo which covers say one side of chest abdomen or one side of face and so these are the various types of vitiligo and the treatment depends on what sort of vitiligo you are suffering from treatment depends on the site size and whether the disease is progressive that is it's increasing or it's stable when the disease is progressive or it is increasing then your dermatologist will definitely give you something to contain to stop the disease that might be an immunosuppressive agent like a steroid or an azathioprine or tofacitinib that's the latest entrant depending upon whether lesions are small or large maybe they will ask you to go for narrow band uvb therapy which in case of large areas are done at the dermatologist clinic or an excimer laser therapy in case the patches are very small 